Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a script for Phantom Forces. Now, as some of you might know, Phantom Forces has patched a lot of the scripts, pretty much 99% of them. So none of them actually have functioning aimbot or ESP. Now, when it comes to the script, you can use this on the browser version of Roblox as well. And the ESP and the aimbot are completely functional and they run very, very smoothly. And the program that I'm talking about is actually Celestial. So I did make a video on this previously. I did mention that it does work on every single Roblox game. However, I got a lot of comments of people asking me, does it work on Phantom Forces? Does it work on this game? Does it work on this game? So I'm just making this updated video to show you how you can use it on other games as well. So to get started with the actual download, of course, you need to firstly disable your antivirus. So come down into the Windows icon right here and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up. Now, once it does open, go into manage settings and turn off real time protection. When you click this, it will give you a little prompt and you have to go ahead and click on yes. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while. I will show you what you need to do before you turn it on. But for now, it needs to be turned off. Otherwise, you'll not be able to download the actual program. So once you've turned that off, go into the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. It won't be the same page. It will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. So from there, go ahead and click on the script download button and it will take you to this page over here. From here, go ahead and complete the steps and it will take you to the final download destination. From there, go ahead and click on download now and you can choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop and then go ahead and click on save. From there, go ahead and double click the download manager and click on yes. Once it does open, it might ask you to download some of the programs. It is completely up to you if you wish to accept any of these offers. If not, go ahead and click on decline. Click decline again. Once you do complete that, it will give you the final download URL. You can copy that, go back to your browser, paste that in, and there we go. So I've already got it downloaded, but I'll download it again. So there we go. Save that to wherever you wish to save it. Now, before you even open this, you need to go back to your virus and threat protection scroll down from here go into exclusions click on add or remove exclusion click on yes click on add an exclusion choose file and from there go ahead and choose your celestial file so i've got two i'm just going to um, select the one i just downloaded and click on open so that should be added now to your exclusions once it is added to your exclusions you can go back and turn on your real-time protection if you wish to do that all right, now at this point, we're ready to go into Roblox. So let's go ahead and load into the Phantom Forces game first. So make sure you load into the game first. Um, you can also go ahead and close out the download manager now. And once the game does open up and it does fully load, we will then be ready to use the actual program. So there we go. It's loading up now. All right, here we go. We just loaded into the game. Let's go back onto our desktop. And let's go ahead and double click the Celestial. As you can see, it does say successfully injected. Now, if it's your first time launching it, then it might take a couple of seconds. It could take 30 seconds to a minute to start. And as you can see, you've got aimbot right here. You've also got visuals. You've got the misc section. Now, in the exploits, I don't recommend using Fly. The Fly does work on Arsenal with Celestial, but it doesn't work with Phantom Forces. I tried it. It doesn't really kick you or it doesn't really ban you, but yeah it just doesn't work so i don't recommend doing that just in case um you're risking a ban now in the configs i'm just gonna go ahead and load my arsenal config and everything looks good i'm just gonna go back here and turn the frame rate to maximum where is that um oh you've you got the local gun champs as well for phantom forces so let me turn that on as well and i'm just trying to find the frame rate section and with the frame rate, I do actually suggest having this to maximum because it does work surprisingly. As long as your monitor supports higher frames, it will actually give you higher frames, which is pretty cool. Now, by default, the insert key is to toggle the menu, as you can see, but you can change it from here to anything else that you want. Now, I will actually go ahead and go into the game and show you how this works. Um, all right. So I will also turn on boxes and i will show you my settings just one time so you can see everything so firstly you need to set the aim key um to whatever you like so if you right click this you can also choose whether you want to hold it or toggle it every time now i do recommend having hold it's just easier and if you're in a fast-paced game like phantom forces you do need to be able to quickly let go of the trigger and quickly you know <laughs> press it back again so um, I do recommend hold, but it's completely up to you. Now, visible only. Also, I do suggest doing this so it doesn't lock onto players behind walls because that's just useless. 
Um, sticky aim, you can see what each of these do, so you can have a read through all of these, but these are my settings for these. Now, if you want your aimbot to be a little less weak or you want it to be a little less blatant, then you can turn this a little higher. Um, if you want to be extremely legit, um, I would recommend something up here. But in my case, I'm just on an old account, so I've got this all the way down. But even then, players don't really seem to be complaining. Um, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't really seem blatant, which is really good. Um, and with the actual ESP settings, these are my ESP settings. I also have ignore teammates on. This is something I suggest having on. Otherwise, you'll be able to see your um, teammates' name tags as well. And it's kind of annoying. Um, and as with Phantom Forces, I've got that turned on as well. Now, I would also recommend turning these three options on right here. So it does check for force fields, health check, and also invisible check. So if players are invisible, it's not going to target them um or yeah it's not going to draw esp on those and for this it's not going to draw esp for players that have force field and also players that have zero health um this is important to have so i do recommend having that on and that's pretty much it let's go into the actual game now and i will show you how this works in action all right one thing i realized just before jumping into the game is i don't suggest having these on because it does actually break the esp with fandom forces you don't need that anyway it works flawlessly without it so you don't need to worry about that at all so right now my aimbot is set to the highest of the settings and as you can see it works flawlessly i've currently got it set to target the head only where you can change that around and make it the closest target to make it a little more legit but in my case it doesn't always headshot anyway so it's completely fine doing whatever you prefer and there we go so you can see it works really 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 well it's been a while since I've been able to find a good cheat for Phantom Forces that actually works. And I didn't think it would be Celestial. But that's been it for the video guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.